Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I'll be reacting to Ring 2 Episode 5 of Jack Girls. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> you know that has two meanings. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> no, not all over, but just in the front. Oh, come on, but it's cute, Rin. And you like it. I mean, me, so goddamn. You know Misa gonna say yes to it no matter what because come on it's fucking Misa. Misa has the biggest crush on Rain. Rain likes Misa too. They became one. <laughs> Even with the fact Misa's like not like that. And like once I saw <laughs> when I saw we became one, uh, I'm like hold up, I got two me to say. <laughs> If she would have just said, oh, hey, Misa called me by my first name, then that would have been fine. But when she, <laughs> because of the fact that this girl was like, we became one, we're like, what y'all? <laughs> Fucking girlfriend, this is the art. Best friends with the slightest tip of Yuri. <laughs> oh. I didn't even know fucking slight tip. It's like right there. Pop Idol research. Hmm. Um, the two girls who kind of remind me of Nico. Their name. <laughs> I 
I don't think Mies is interested though. Yep, yeah, mm -hmm. that's how it's typically like. Hell, Ren and Idolmaster would like that too. Ren, you broke it. <laughs> huh. And how much is that going to cost? Yeah, this is a chance to have another date with her. You don't have to screw it up this time. Well, it really, it wasn't your fault. It was the other girl's fault. <laughs> Still, this date is going to get ruined again. I can feel it. Oh, Even though it's a third wheel, it's still a date. It is a fucking date. Even though, like, it's not the whole episode, probably. That's why you should have bought it. You guys aren't going to find it. Just let these two idiots go on our date. What if she was about to say I love you? God damn Ren I did say me so.
it would be sticky. <laughs> you know, Emily and Jennifer are fans of them too. A <laughs> couple of <laughs> money. This date has officially become a foursome. Later on, this, you know, the date's gonna become an orgy. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. I want pancakes now, damn it. I'm gonna eat after this episode. Well. I mean, I I'm guessing, I'm assuming we're gonna see them in a dead rest race today, because I'm gonna come on now. That episode is a little bit about them, so. You should have said something. You could have continued the date, damn it. Oh, you have an exchange number to her. Oh my god, girl. You are her girlfriend, technically, kind of, in a weird way. But you need to have her phone number. Lisa. Oh, baby, like, oh my god. It's so awkward. <laughs> Just ask her, Lisa. Hmm. Uh, yeah. You poor baby. Oh my god.
<laughs> you so you and she wants it. Lisa. You got this. No, no, you're not too demanding. You're fine. Look, she's here. You have a you <laughs> Go on. You can do it. Go on. You can do it. It's okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, you have time to practice. Let her go take a bath and then come back and just do it. You can do it. <laughs> yeah, because it just can't be her. It has to be both of you. You're a team. What's wrong? Yeah, because of Hell's Kitchen. Yeah, you get practicing. Okay, can I say I hate those two now? Like, they acting like little bitches. <laughs> like, honestly. <laughs>
It was a weird start. Okay, hold up. We don't need bitches cheating, but I don't think it's like that. Of course, to be continued, my motherfucking ass. Okay, something about that start was not right to me. I Like I said, I don't want to say bitches are cheating, but bitches could be cheating up in this bitch. Somebody could have caused something when someone wasn't looking and, you know, can't trust Zoo and Dina, at, like, no matter what. I mean, they're cute as fuck, like, don't get me wrong. But at the same time, it's like, you look at these two, and they literally remind me a lot of Nico. So it's like, hmm, Nico is one of my other personal, well, she's not my best girl. It's no, <laughs> that was a mean. But Nico is some, like, she's a little bit of my favorites, but sometimes you can't trust her. You can't trust a little, like, a girl who looks like Nico sometimes. And literally, both of them look like fucking Nico. Okay. So, the second date, kind of, I mean, it wasn't bad, but yeah, people kept coming in and ruining the whole thing. And the fact is that, you know, Ren and Misa haven't exchanged phone numbers. Like, it is a little sad because the fact is, they're a team and they're supposed to, they're girlfriends. They became one, damn it. So, I mean, they should be sharing everything. Phone numbers, food, drinks. How they probably having sex on the side. We all know that. <laughs> we all freaking know that. <laughs> Just <laughs> the way that they were hugging each other. I'm like, oh my god. They are girlfriends. They they are meant to be together no matter the fuck what. to see that part again because that was <laughs> oh my god holy shit she was <laughs> but I get the fact that Misa is just like you know she has everyone else's phone number except hers and I know Misa feels some type of way and I love the fact that she gets so nervous asking Ren for her phone number and like come on we need to exchange phone numbers because you know we're friends girlfriends we're in a relationship we need to exchange numbers and contact each other and you know whenever we can and you know da da da, da bullshit 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 and anything you know typical you know when you're in a relationship with someone and stuff and you know yeah instead of date I mean like you know yes the second date wasn't as perfect as the first I mean Hey, third time's the charm. They have, like, one more try to make it the best freaking date ever. This is only episode five, for Christ's sakes, and we'll be on to episode six next week. And it looks like they're going bowling. <laughs> From that preview. <laughs> and they're hanging out with the, um, I think the Gadus. I don't, I don't understand. I, I think so. In a way. Yeah, because I think they're Gadus. They, bo they both look like Gadus. But then, no, because I feel like there was another character. There were two other characters in there that kind of looked like Gadu, but I think they're the Gadu girls. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I just really hope that, you know, Misa and Ren are able to exchange phone numbers. They can go on a really nice date together. I, I mean, like, even though Misa was with Jen and M, she, um, not Misa, Ren was with Jen and M, she still felt like Misa should have been there. And it was just, like, my heart. Like, even when they're not together, they still miss each other. Like, oh my god, like, Ren. 
I just need to. I want them into in episode six to literally do like a compromise compromise. Even though Misa does not like Hell's Kitchen, and that is fine. I still want Misa to support Ren and go with Ren to the concert because like you know when you're in a relationship, whether you are you're in a relationship with and the opposite sex or the same sex, no matter how much you don't like like me. Okay, if I if I was in a relationship if I had a boyfriend that loves Star Wars, I don't like Star Wars like that. But if my boyfriend really, truly loved Star Wars with a fucking passion, and if he was like, I want to go see Star Wars, I'd be like, okay, let's go. I'll be fine with that. Like, there ain't nothing that's going to interest me into the film and stuff. I'll go see it. I ain't going to fall asleep and shit. I will sit there and watch that movie for two or three hours for you because I love you and I support you in anything that you do. And even though I don't like this type of shit, you know, it ain't my interest, I'll still watch it for you. That compromise that you have with your significant other, no matter who it is that you have. And that's what I want Misa and Ren to have. I want Misa to be able to go to the concert for uh, Ren so that she can still uh, uh, spend time with her and then whatever... Misa likes that Rin possibly doesn't like. I feel like Rin is the type of the chick, type of chick who really likes anything. I don't think she really would dislike a lot of things, but let's say there was something that Misa did like and Rin didn't like, I would still want her to do a compromise and still be like, yeah, let's go. Even though I don't like it, but you do. I love you and I want to be with you in like anything that you do. It, it's the little things like that. I mean, Everybody does that in a relationship. You know, it's just so sweet and cute, you know? But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 5 of Jet Girls. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magical Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Tuesday for episode 6. Bye, guys!